Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to discuss integration of rational functions using partial fractions. Okay. Alright, here is the integration of rational function where px is a polynomial and dx also polynomial. Right. Before we discuss further, we first look at what is polynomial functions. What is a polynomial function? A polynomial function is a function which involves only non-negative integer powers or only positive integer exponent of a variable. It is defined by its degree. The degree of a polynomial with one variable is the largest exponent of that variable. The most common types of polynomial functions are constant, where the degree equals to 0, linear, where the degree equals to 1, quadratic, with degree 2, cubic, with degree 3, and quartic with degree 4. Okay, this is the example for constant which is degree 0. This is the example for linear which is degree 1. This is the example for quadratic which is polynomial with degree 2. This is the example for cubic function which is polynomial with degree 3. And this is the example for quartic polynomial function, which is degree 4, right? Right now, let me check either this is polynomial or not, okay? Alright, from here, let's say we have 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x minus 1, okay? This is polynomial, okay? Because we have non-negative integer powers or only positive integer exponent. But this is not polynomial because this is negative integer powers, all right? Alright, now we are going to look at rational function. What is a rational function? A rational function is the ratio of two polynomials, px and dx, like this. Let's say we have fx equals to px over dx. Except that dx cannot be 0 and anywhere that dx equals to 0 is undefined. It is just like a fraction but with polynomials. Right now, let me check whether these are rational or not. Okay, from here we have fraction x plus 3 over x minus 2 and fraction square root of x minus 2 over x plus 1. The top function is called as numerator and the bottom function is called as denominator. Alright x plus 2, sorry, x plus 3 over x minus 2 is a rational function because it is a ratio of two polynomials. But this is not a rational function because the top is not a polynomial. A square root of a variable is not allowed, right? Alright, now we look at a possible step to evaluate integration of rational function px over dx. First, we do a long division. And then step 2, we express into the sum of partial fraction. And final step, we can integrate using useful integration formulas or using u substitution or using inverse tangent. Alright? Alright, now we look at long division. Okay, We only use long division method if 
the degree of numerator greater or equal to the degree of denominator. Okay? And then after we do a long division, we need to express bx over dx into the form of qx plus rx over dx. qx means the quotient. And rx means remainder after we do a long division. Alright? If the degree of numerator less than the degree of denominator, we no need to do a long division. Alright? So we can jump to step 2. Okay? So remember, we only use long division method if the degree of numerator greater or equal to the degree of denominator. If the degree of numerator less than the degree of denominator, we no need to do a long division, but we can jump to step 2, which is expressed into the sum of partial fraction. Right? Alright, when we express into the sum of partial fraction, we have three types based on denominators. Okay? Type 1, denominator with distinct linear factors. Type 2, denominator with irreducible quadratic factors. Irreducible quadratic factors means the quadratic function that cannot factorize. Right? And type 3 is denominator with repeated factors. Okay? And after that, we can integrate using useful integration formulas or using U substitution or using inverse tangent. Useful integration formulas will be given in appendix. Okay? Formula number 1 and formula number 15 will help you to integrate the rational function using partial fraction. Right? Now, let me look at formula number 1, integration of ax plus b to the power of n dx. When n not equals to negative 1, we can use this formula. Okay? And this formula suitable for type 3, which is denominator with repeated factors. Alright? And then, if n not equals to negative, if n equals to negative 1, we can use this formula, 1 over a ln ax plus b plus c. This formula is suitable for type 1, which is denominator with distinct linear factors. And then formula number 15, integration of 1 over a squared plus x squared dx, where a is a constant, equals to 1 over a inverse tangent x over a plus c. This formula is suitable for denominator with irreducible quadratic factor. Okay? Inverse tangent here. Okay? This formula is suitable for type 2 which is denominator with irreducible quadratic factor. Right? 